I didn't feel like I was ready to do this again, but you know, we're in quarantine, so what are you gonna do? This is my backyard. I don't know if you can accurately see that very well. Um, I know this is like the first one I, I made in like 2020, so hopefully things look nicer, right? Okay, so we're in the middle of the Kanto throwback festival, I guess. It's these, these little throwback events. And it's like through all of like the previous generations. Like Kanto is the first region. So it's like Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. And um, a lot has changed since, like, I don't know if you guys been watching this channel or whatever, but now because of all the stay-at-home protocols, you know, Pokemon has shifted more towards that. The battles are pretty great, and um, I've been doing a lot of that even though they need to fix the lag but i've been doing some of that so you can find some of that on my channel go battle league you know for now i'm just kind of um you know training and stuff trying to you know get my pokemon stronger but Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of festivals have passed. Uh, in between this time, there was like a whole buddy event that just ended. You know, and it was trying to like help people fill up their buddy like relationship parts like all the way to the end. Yeah. Sometimes it is just nice to sit out here and enjoy spending time with Pokemon. Like quarantine or <laughs> solitude doesn't have to mean doing nothing, I guess. Or being bored. There are other places to explore inside yourself. I bet Pokemon think we make strange noises too. Okay, so I'm up now, finally. So um, another thing I noticed is that um, people who are just now jumping on don't know that in the shop the coin bundles are rotating. So now you, I don't remember which what the rotations are, but every, in every rotation they'll have a box that's only like one Pokecoin, and you'll get like. 50 Pokeballs or whatever the cycle for that box is. I just texted somebody about that. They were like, what? There's no Pokeballs. And I was like, bro, you don't have that box yet. They were like, I didn't know it was in the shop. So now y'all know that it's in the high five. That it's in the shop. Um, so go do that. Um, I'm sticking to this self-quarantine thing. Or not self-quarantine, but just, yeah, just staying at home. But I see a lot of people kind of breaking that where I'm at. And they don't really seem to be worried about PPE either. It's kind of scary. Um, but yes, um, remote raids, 
If you don't know about stuff that's happening now, now you know remote raids. I think I got one in a bundle that I bought that was cheap, like the one coin bundle, don't quote me on that. But they gave me like three remote pat raid remote raid passes. Which I'm supposed to try out on remote raids. And there's like one next to me. I'm gonna give that a shot at some point in time. Probably not something. I'm not able to solo legendary by myself yet. In any case, um, I think Dark Rise in raids is probably seems obvious, but um, I have a couple of new shinies. I hope to show to you at some point in time. Um, I did the Abra Community Day that just happened. I got a I got a shiny Abra like immediately, like immediately, like it was ridiculous. Like, as soon as I turned it on, like I had a bunch of Pokeballs from like kind of like um, accepting the Pokemon Go stimulus Pokeball act I guess because they were just giving out pokeballs you know to try to get people ready for the stay at home pokey measures <clears throat> and I already had the incense from one of the um, boxes that are like um, discounted so I was totally ready for that but didn't matter as soon as I show up shiny Abra. I got two of them actually. But um, hey. Yeah, I think that's everything that I've gotten new so far. Which is like usually what I end up telling everybody who I play with, like, like what have you gotten so far? What have you what did you do last time? I met you on your pokey adventure well, last time I was fighting Team Rocket and I'm joking it was a joke it's probably a really weird joke <clears throat> I don't think I got nothing like new 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 I think they might have fixed a little bit of lag in the go league because now I feel like I'm actually able to get some W's because I was Oh my gosh, I was like so high up there in rank and I dropped down to like seven because of the lag features that had not been updated. But <clears throat> it's still fun. We'll see where it goes. I have some new Pokemans that I just wasn't fully available to me because they did change up some other stuff too. Like now you can... Um, max out the upgrades you make to your Pokemon or like the experience points that's been added for old players because now it's Stardust, right? So before you could only go up and you'd have to sit there for the whole time sequence as you kept powering up your Pokemon. Now you can go in there and you can um, go all the way to the uh, end so to speak, like you can say, like, um, if I were to max this out, or max out as much bread or dust as I have available, then you can, um, you know, you can go for that option. Or you could, if you want to get an Excel spreadsheet and put all your Pokemon up there and measure that against your dust. Those skills wouldn't go amiss right now, so... Probably actually not a bad idea. Anyway, um, yeah. So the, those features make it a bit easier. I didn't end up using any of those. It's just that, like, um, I guess you do get a bit of like items from 
like as far as rewards from battling. And I've gotten enough charged TMs and rare candies. Plus like the walking distance. Like, Cause it doesn't, it just doesn't matter whether you, you've, you're in a rural area or not. Cause like, dude, I've walked some Pokemans. I've walked some Pokemans further than a hundred miles. And like, it, it's, it's worth it. It's just that like, it takes time. Thank you.